Hello everybody, Bryos here, and today I have for you the Hellfire. And even though I'm not a big fan of these clan 60 ton battle max, since it's available for C builds in January 2019, I thought that I will revisit them, show you some of my builds and some gameplay so you can make a more informed decision whether you want to sink in those C builds to buy this mech or not. And talking about this mech, this is the Hellfire A. That's the one with the ballistic in the right torso and missiles all over. Even though it has a dash A designation, it's not an uh, Omni mech, so you can't switch Omni ports, you are stuck with these hard points. And if you're wondering why I said I'm not a big fan of the Hellfire, my main criticisms include a very low baseline mobility, and number two, the engine cap is really low. So basically, you have a slow mech moving at about 78 maximum, that's pretty slow for a Clan 60 Tunner, and very low mobility. With the MESE, it boost it but only in bursts and with the low baseline it's not much better anyway but it's a good surprise and honestly this particular build i have been doing really well in it and yeah i was surprised so even though i favor other brawlers like the charger same tonnage but is this this yeah it's it's been doing well so anyway that aside let's get down to the build so in typical brawler style went for torso mounted weapons LB20 in the right torso with 5 tons of ammo so I can fire indiscriminately and to back it up I have 3 SRM6s with no Artemis, that's due to the lack of slots with 4 tons of ammunition all this with 14 double heatings, XL290 engine which is the maximum size and a Clan MASC Mark II for that MASC boost to speed and mobility that gives it a speed of 78.3 and with MASC activated it's about 98 so yeah, that's about that anyway so anyway, this Bill basically, you can play it as a brawler, moving in, blasting them, torso twisting to use these huge arms, fully armoured to shield, and once the weapons cycle back, you can turn your torso and blast them again. Wash and repeat. But without armour or structure quirks, this honestly is a very fragile brawler. And I do favour other champions, uh, other mechs like the champion, which is honestly a superior brawler. But feelings aside, it's really been doing really well. As for skills, Let's take a look. Yep, now it's fully loaded. 39 points in firepower. Lots in firepower, giving me 15% extra missile damage when you crit. That's due to the two high explosive nodes. Two nodes of missile spread to decrease the spread by 5%. And a cooldown of 6%. Heat of 6.6 .6 reduction. Range of 12 and velocity 12%. That's to make the weapons fly faster. Armor bonuses come from survival. And this, gives, this particular layout of 18 on the left gives me... 14.4% armor and 10% structure bonus. For mobility, because of its low baseline, I invested 13 points. And this gives me an XL of 10.5, DCL 14%, and a beautiful turn rate of 24. And with the MASC, that's what I'm looking for. 24% boost plus additional because of the MASC. It allows me to turn, have, well, have that nice turning mobility and hide or run away. So basically, it's a hit and run kind of brawler. Try not to stay in fights, but it it can, I suppose. Anyway, operations, 15 points. Yet again, my favourite note, 5 notes of heat containment. In the last few videos, I mentioned that these notes are still nerfed. It's kind of bugged at the moment. So even though I should be getting 15% heat capacity, I'm only getting about 8 to 10. But that's not too bad. 3 extra notes of heat of cool run increases heat dissipation by 6%. And yeah, it runs pretty cool. And because it runs pretty cool, I have no additional cool shots, so I'm just running one cool shots and two other consumables on the right uh, artillery strikes, giving me that wonderful artillery damage. So that's it. That's the Hellfire A Brawler. I hope you like the pattern. I call it the Purple People Eater. But anyway, it's typical Brawler run in, blast with a high alpha, and in this case, turn and run. So remember that, and you'll be fine. It's a hit and run kind of brawler. You stay in the fight if you need to, but you blast and run. So, um, that's about it. So let's get down to the battlefield and see this wonderful back in action. So let's go. Is there it's real streaming? and Barado in the same match. Yep, as you heard, I got a drop with Barado. And it's always a pleasure to drop with the friendly German. In this case, he was in his Kodiak tree and me in my Hellfire A on Somalian Desert. And in this match, we had comms open, so we were communicating well. And Beradol had a bit needed a bit of help because he was kind of left behind, so he wasn't afraid to call for help, and that's always very important. 
So I was able to come back and assist, and we, be, we were able to grind out a win. And Beradul did really, really well, and I enjoyed what I did. So sit back and enjoy some brawly action with my Hellfire. Where is everybody? I don't like this deployment. It's a black cat. Take a peek. New target acquired. Fox for Alpha. We got a storm crew. Moving up. Let's move into Echo Five. Move up, guys. New target acquired. We got a Cyclops. Hotel. Dual heavy gas. Let's say hi. That's a nice spot to drop the RT. Let me see away. Lower. Oops. Cyclops now spotted. Fox 6. There's an Atlas in uh, the low ground. Roger. All at the spotted mech, Fox 6. Lots of mechs. Drop me down. Those in the rear, watch it. I will push Fox 6 a little bit. Yep, let's move up Fox 6. Focus there. Those in Echo 7, watch it. Whoever's there. Target acquired. Target spotted. New target acquired. Charlie, exposed. Right torso, Vanguard. Oops. Where did they go? Fox 7? Hey. Yeah, they're heading to our, Fox six. our assault in the rear. I'm, I'm trying Fox 7 now. Oh, there's a quick draw. Yep, they're all there. Hotel spotted. spotted again. Don't go in alone, uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, they're coming from the low ground from the Echo 6 area. Alright, let's pile into Fox 6, guys. All together. Uh, I need some help here in Echo 6. Could you switch count? I'm basically dead. Alright, I'm turning around. Keep my hellfire. Oh, I make it. Hey, don't shoot me. Echo, right? It's also Irby. Quick draw, Lima CT. Focus on India Atlas. He's going down. New target acquired. Atlas, Atlas. I'm on the storm throw. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, I'm in trouble here. Echo. Alright, push forward. Right. Four, four. Echo 17. Yeah, I'm coming. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Man, I'm taking a lot of friendly fire. Oh, one kill. Golf is draw, gonna need help. Ooh, pain, pain. Ah, I got him! Moral victory. Man, I'm so hurting. You guys go ahead, leave me. 19% At least you're alive, Peridu Oh, I'm so slow I have one SRM6 Dun 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 8-5 though I'm gonna be left behind Enemies last seen in Echo 6, I believe Oh yeah, yep. there they are There they are Acquired. I think I'll follow this Hanji. No, oh. sight also gone. So painful. New target acquired. Yeah, poor target storm crew. Destroyed. Mistakes were made. Target spotted. On the supernova. Oh, I have MESC with one leg. Supernova Keep first, leg. please. Makes no difference to speed. New target acquired. Cyclops sight also hotel. Heavy go, so it'll pop target really fast, destroyed. like that. 
well done. New target acquired. Ah, no need for calls, we've got this. Can I sneak another kill in? Can I, can I? Ah, out of range! Ah, oh, damn it! Good job, team. Nice drop, everybody. 19%. Somehow I survived, and somehow my right arm is minimal damage. And look at that, 838 damage, 1 solo, 3 KMDDs, 2 kills, 1 was... Well, so close to me being dead. 479, Baradul doing very well. Look at that, 1000 damage in his Kodiak tree. But I would like to think I did well too with this build. And for the second match of this video, we have a match yet again on Tomalin Desert. But in this case, it's going to end in a loss for my team. Well, mistakes were made. But it does show that this build can pump out lots of damage, which is what I did. And even though the team was not able to capitalize on it, I felt that this shows that this build has lots of potential. In fact, that's what I found consistent with this build. It was able to push out tons of damage in every single game. And it's just a matter of whether the team wins or loses. That Double depends on the bug lords of the internet. But anyway, sit back, enjoy some nice brawly action yet again on Tamalin Desert, and s look at how much damage this build does. It's quite a violent build. Okay, so let's get this Hellfire into action. They have the circle, 43 yeah, seconds. Plenty of time. No rush, yep. Yep, we have plenty of time. No hits. Got a cicada hiding there. Oh, I touched him. Since we have a few mechs here, let's move up. Bravo cicada, spotted. Of course, there will probably be lots of mechs here. Archer, Archer, Fox 6 center. Let's punish him a bit. Oh, somebody hit me. Uh, let's cover this flank. Alright, we have Delta Assault, Fox 6, Mad Cat, Death Strike. Engaging soon. Yep, I just wanna drop an RT. Oh, lots there. Oh, I'm in trouble here. Lots of assaults there, watch it. Focus, Delta, Delta. Gonna use this little bit as cover. Cody Echo in trouble. Hotel. Run pots. ETM supernova. Death strike left torso open. There goes his arm and torso. Down he goes. Converge on them. Hotel on the run. Other is Bravo. Ah. I have NASC. And they have lots of mechs. Echo 6. Watch it. You too. Focus on the big guys like Hotel first. Oh. Lima in the open. He's shut down. He's dead. Hotel again. Moving in. Oh, fall back. That's why I need MESC. Ah, my leg is hurting. Let's not break it. Oh, come on. Alpha behind. Oh well, he got my legs first, or my CT. 5-9, 9, 950 damage. But, I guess the game is lost. Don't think we can recover from that. I could shoot, kill the cicada. But no. Yes, he killed that guy. Can we pull it together? 7 10. But this Arctic Wolf is going down. And there he goes. Okay, a street cleaner with 3 light PPCs. And two broken machine guns. 
GG team, but it's okay. 950 damage, a bruising, bruising fight for me. Only one kill, but I guess I stood lots of things. Just a matter of time for this guy to die. Yep, and that's it. Red team wins. Very caught Archer over there. The quick draw was pretty fresh. He probably did quite a lot. Oh, they have two quick draws. So let's look at the damage and the scores. 950 damage, minimal team damage, 4 KMDDs, 5 assists, 1 kill. Not much, mainly armor damage. And looking at this score of 490, second in team after Captain Coffee. Because Coffee is good, yep. Anyway, other team, very good spread of damage. They played well together.